What is up, everybody? So, actually, I have another topic again. My topic is going to be the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know why I stumbled over that, but I have actually come up with an idea of the uh, where where the game is going to take place. Not where, but the setting of the game, just by one little hint. And I the the thing is, I actually read somewhere that it's going to take place in the future, yet you're going to use older or modern guns, so no futuristic guns. So. My idea is <clears throat> that it is going to be post-apocalyptic. Uh, some of the major countries in the world are going to be destroyed with, uh, with nukes or fairly close to being destroyed. And <clears throat> the remaining soldiers or the... I don't know if you're going to consider them soldiers or um, more of the undercover, like the Navy SEALs type people. But... The people that destroyed the countries, I have a feeling, are either going to be terrorists or, um, let's just say, a country like North Korea or Iran. Um, this, the, the reason I thought about this is just because i seen the, the trailer and I noticed there's a little bit of rubble in the background, so it kind of looked like something was destroyed, or at least it looked like rubble to me. And, um... I don't know, I was just thinking, and they, they seem to say they're hiding behind masks the whole time, and then the whole idea of the ghosts brought me to something. If these countries are destroyed, and, um, the, uh, say one of these people see these soldiers that were thought to be dead, then it's like seeing a ghost, in a way. Like, you'd be very surprised because you thought that country was gone, yet there's still people alive and you're seeing them for the first time hence the name ghosts but i think the whole idea of blending in by wearing a mask i don't know if it's going to have to do specifically with a mask or if it's going to have to do with like i don't know just i think it's going to be more blending in and you're going to try to you're going to try to blend into society in a different country one of these countries that that um has nuked your country, or try to blend in with one of these terrorist groups that did it. Um, and the whole point of that is to work from the inside and take out the leaders of these groups or countries, and kind of get kind of get a peace of mind that they're dead and know that you killed them, just to get revenge and let them know that you didn't kill. You didn't take out my country, if that makes sense. Hope you guys can follow this, but that, that's my idea. And the reason why they'd be using the older weapons, or modern weapons as of now, is because these major countries are going to take out, let's say, United States, UK, Germany, possibly China. All these countries may, like, I don't know about the UK if they manufacture guns, but they, they probably do. But... The countries that manufacture guns, if they were to be nuked, the manufacturers would be destroyed and there would be no one else to make um, new weapons. And also the countries that destroyed them would have destroyed the world powers, which means technology is going to take a step back instead of a, a step forward, or at least military technology. So with that being said, I feel like there would be... I, I won't say there would be no like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 style... Uh, orbital VSATs or UAVs or anything like that. I, I kind of, I just don't think there'd be, like, what are the chances of finding a bunch of pilots and some way to work these uh, these satellites from space? So that got got me to thinking about the um, the uh, the kill streaks, and I was thinking, okay, well. Maybe they'll go back to, like, the World War II style. Maybe they'll have, like, artillery and hopefully bring back the dogs from Call of Duty Black Ops and a uh, majority of um, Treyarch's games. And one idea I was thinking of, I don't know if it happened, but it just seemed cool to me. Say they mounted a gun on, like, a, a Hummer or a military vehicle or, like, a motorcycle. They had a gun mounted on the front of, like, one of those little, those little buggies that ride on the side. I don't know what they're called, but um, 
they might just be called buggies, but the things that are on the side of motorcycles and people can sit in, they might have some kind of gun mounted on the motorcycle somehow, and these guys come driving through the level after you get so many kills and just start shooting people, kind of like a moving turret. It drives around the level and kills people. I would say that would be like a 11 or 12 kill streak because you'd kill so many people with it. Um, I mean, it wouldn't... It would do the job of like a, a, a stealth helicopter or something, but driving on the ground. I, I don't know. They could possibly bring back helicopters or something like that just because there'd have to be some pilots left. At least a couple. But the fact of the UAVs and stuff, I don't know how that's going to work. But hopefully I covered everything I was thinking of. Um, let me just check my notes really quick. I wrote this stuff all down on... Or I didn't write it down. I took notes on my iPhone on uh, Friday, and I just kept getting these ideas in my head. So I figured I'd keep right or keep uh, typing them in on my phone. And yeah. Oh, the last thing I forgot to mention is the reason my thought of them wearing the ski masks in the videos kind of that's what brought me onto the whole idea of a terrorist group. Because say these guys are trying to work in, like, got in, and they're trying to work on the inside and blend in. I mean, there's many different ways you can take the the ghosts. Like, my idea earlier, they, th they think the, these people are dead, yet they see them, so it's like seeing a ghost. But ghosts can be invisible, too, so um, in that aspect, it's more of a blending in to your environment. And the ski mask brought me to that idea because... If it is a terrorist group, they wear ski masks usually, and so were these soldiers uh, on the commercial. So, I, I don't know if it's going to be a bigger, like a World War III type thing, or if it's going to be a terrorist operation, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be post-apocalyptic, some major nuclear thing, and actually that brings me back, I think in one of the Call of Duties, Modern Warfare 2 or something, a nuke was set off somewhere, so that could have been the start. This could be like a, a follow-up on... The modern warfare series just kind of in the future but anyways i'm gonna end this uh hopefully you guys can follow this and enjoy this uh hopefully i didn't make it too confusing so yeah anyways have a nice day goodbye